Number 2. Find the following for path B in figure 2.59. Letter A. The distance traveled. Okay, so let's take a look at path B here on the right-hand side. It's there in like a bluish purple. So we have to find the uh, distance traveled. So recall that the distance, the distance is simply the uh, amount, right, amount of ground covered. Okay, so let's see. It looks like B is starting at 12, right? And it's ending, it looks like at about, if I were to draw a little line down there, looks like it's ending at about seven, right? That looks like it should be about seven. So just make this a little neater. So that should be about seven meters there. And that's 12 meters. So now the distance that it traveled is just simply the ground that it traveled. So if we were to think about, um, you know, a, a formula, it would simply be this, like the distance d would be equal to distance one. Um, in this particular problem, it would be a subtraction minus distance two. So distance one, put the larger one first because the distances will always be positive or need to be positive because they are considered scalar quantities, meaning they don't have a direction. Okay, we'll get into that a little uh, later and probably uh, some uh, problems in the future. So it'll be 12 meters minus seven meters. Okay, so that simply works out to a value of five meters. So that would be the distance. Okay, so that is the answer for part A. Let's take a look now at part B. Okay, just erase some of these things up here. There we go. So let's take a look at part B. So the magnitude of the displacement from start to finish. So recall that B is starting at 12 meters and ending at seven meters. Okay, so let's write down our displacement formula. So the change in displacement is equal to the final displacement minus the initial displacement. Now, since they are specifically just asking for the magnitude of the displacement and not the displacement itself, simply take the absolute value. Okay, so now the final value was seven meters minus the initial value was 12. That means it would be a negative five meters. But again, since we just want the magnitude, we don't want to know the sign. It would simply be just five meters. Okay, wonderful. That takes care of part B. And now part C, it wants to know the displacement, not the magnitude, but the actual displacement. So again, write the formula, change in, looks like in, I don't know what sign that is, uh, cha change in X, right? Change in displacement is equal to the final displacement minus the initial. So no absolute value sign now because we want to know the, this, the, displacement, magnitude, and the, and the uh, direction. So that's just gonna be seven meters minus 12 meters because it's the final value minus the initial. And now the displacement value is negative five meters. And that's it. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember, please subscribe if this helped you out at all. See you guys next time.